Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss 4.17, 4.18 and 4.19 from laws of motion. A nucleus is at rest in the laboratory frame of reference. Show that if it disintegrates into two smaller nuclei, the products must move in opposite directions. Here, assume that the mass of the nucleus initially is m and after that it is disintegrating into two small parts. Here, externally there is no force is acting. Then as per conservation of momentum, before disintegration, the total momentum is equal to the total momentum after disintegration. So, I am writing here the total momentum before disintegration Pi is equal to momentum after disintegration. Initially, this one is having the mass m and its velocity is 0. Initially, I am writing V. After disintegration, so one part has the mass m1 and velocity is V1. Second part has the mass m2, velocity v2. This one m into 0 because initially the bigger nucleus has 0 velocity. And after this is disintegrating, so both can move in different directions, but we are showing that we have to show that that is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 0 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 from this we can write that v2 is equal to minus m1 divided by m2 into v1 here the masses are not 0 Therefore, sorry, the masses are not negative. Therefore, velocity V1 can be negative. So, from this what we can say the two products, the two products must move in opposite direction. Here the negative sign represents that V1 and V2 are opposite in direction. This is the solution for 4.17. Coming to 4.18. Two billiard balls each of mass 0 0.05 kilogram moving in opposite directions with a speed 6 meter per second collide and rebound with same speed what is the impulse imparted to each ball due to the other assume that the situation is like this so this is billiard ball 1 assume that it is a moving towards right with uh, velocity 6 meters per second and another ball moving towards left with the same 6 meter per second and if we consider this is along the x axis in the direction of positive x axis, we can take the velocity is positive. In opposite direction, the velocity can be negative. 
so this is nothing but before collision after collision then automatically a will move in the opposite direction with same velocity as per given data and b also moving opposite direction with same velocity this is the situation like this what the impulse imparted to each ball due to the other now we are discussing for ball a so the total momentum of the ball a before collision i represents before collision is equal to it is in the same direction of positive x axis i am taking its velocity is positive that is m into its velocity that is equal to 0.05 into 6 its value is nothing but 0.3 kilogram meter per second and the momentum after collision is equal to m into velocity so this velocity is nothing but negative i am taking 0.05 into minus 6 that is minus 0.3 kilogram meter per second therefore impulse imported to ball a due to ball b that is nothing but final momentum minus initial momentum there is no but change in momentum there is minus 0.3 minus 0.3 its value is nothing but minus 0.6 kilogram meter per second so that means the impulse acting on a due to b will be towards left hand that means along the negative x axis same way if you are applying for ball b so the momentum for ball b before collision i am taking it is 0.05 into minus 6 why means the velocity is towards left we have taken that is minus 0.5 Three kilogram meter per second. So the final momentum after the collision is nothing but zero point zero five. Now it is in the same direction of x-axis. That's why I am taking positive. It is nothing but plus zero point three kilogram meter per second. Now impulse imported. to ball b due to ball a will be pf minus pi there is 0.3 minus of minus 0.3 that is nothing but 0.6 kg meter per second that means this impulse acting on b due to a will be towards right coming to 4.19 a shell of mass 0.020 kg is fired by a gun of mass 100 kg if the muzzle speed of the shell is 80 meter per second what is the recoil speed of the gun 
this problem also based on the conservation of momentum assume that the mass of shell we are taking small m is equal to 0.02 kilogram and mass of the gun take capital m is equal to 100 kilogram and speed of the shell I am taking small v, it is 80 meters per second. Now I want the speed of the gun, that is nothing but recoil. Speed of the gun, some capital V, we need to find out. So from the conservation of of linear momentum before firing the gun the total momentum is equal to after firing the gun the total momentum for the system initially the gun is at rest the shell is at rest so the initial momentum will be zero. Finally, the mass m is moving with velocity v and the gun is recoiling with velocity suppose say capital V. From this capital V is equal to minus small m by capital M into V. That is equal to minus 0.02 into 80 divided by 100 its value is nothing but minus 0 0.016 meter per second so this negative sign indicates that the gun moves backward as the bullet move forward so we can assume that it is a gun of mass capital M, the bullet is moving with speed 80 meters per second in this direction and this gun will recoil with the velocity 0 0.16 meter per second. Okay. Thank you.